guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute <laughs> i hope you guys are all doing well taking care of yourselves we are back with a hair and makeup tutorial i'm going to show you guys how i got this super cute very simple soft glam as well as this hairstyle that we've got going on right here so if you want to see how i got the look just make sure to keep on watching a huge shout out to ashi mary hair company for sponsoring today's video they sent over the wig that i'm going to be installing today along with a couple of other goodies with our wig so we can go ahead and create a flawless install. So I'm going to be installing this unit that I'm showing you guys here. All of the information for this hair is going to be down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, just make sure to check there as always. You guys already know I do hair first and then makeup. I am going to be doing the bald cap method and I'm going to be using this new technique that I learned from Larisha Andrea also on here on YouTube. I'm going to be using these sheer stockings that I got from my local beauty supply store to do my bald cap method I'm no longer using um like wig caps for my bald cap method like this stocking technique is so so perfect because the material is so much thinner than like your typical stocking cap so it's going to give you a much more like flawless install so yeah i'm going to be using that um to do the bald cap method i'm also going to use my favorite lace adhesive you guys already know it's the ebon extreme hold a oh, supreme hold or extreme hold i don't know which one lace adhesive but it's the one in the black can i always use this for all of my lace installs like it just secures the wig so well and it's water soluble so i know i can take it off at night when i'm ready to remove my wigs i also use the ebon lace tint on my bald cap i prefer to use a lace tint because it's quicker i can just spray the product on the stocking cap versus like you know going in and like using makeup and all the other stuff so it's uh much more efficient and i'm also going to use that lace tint on the actual lace of the wig just to make sure that everything you know blends in super seamlessly we're trying to go for like a flawless install right here definitely been loving this lace tint from ebon as well then i'm gonna go ahead and install the wig using my ebon lace adhesive again everything from this point on is pretty much same same you guys know um i've been doing this for a little bit so you guys know my process already and everything when it comes to these lace installs so i'm just gonna let you guys vibe out to some chill music right here and i'll be back to show you guys how i got the actual hairstyle So the wig is installed we're good to go i'm gonna go ahead and start styling now i'm not gonna be doing too anything too crazy for like my hairstyle because i was just going to like the movies for this look like i went to go see the movie black adam which was super cool i'm very i was very excited to watch it and i actually really liked it i know like the reviews are kind of like um i don't know they're kind of uh they're not really giving you know some people really like it and some people you know don't think it's that good but i really enjoyed the movie so i'm you know that's my opinion <laughs> but yeah i'm i think i'm more excited though about like the new uh black panther movie i actually just bought my tickets to go see wakanda forever tomorrow so like i think the day that i um oh my gosh okay let's just wait for these police sirens to go by sorry Is this the price we pay for living in the city? I guess so. <laughs> 
just it's so like new to me i don't know i'm so used to it boys being so quiet but anyways yeah so i already bought my ticket for wakanda forever i'm going to go see it tomorrow um on the 11th is that the release date i think it's the release date so i'm like anticipating that the theater is going to be very packed and um, so I'm planning on leaving like a good hour early just to make sure I get like a good seat because the theater the, the, bleh, the theater that I chose, I don't think there's like reserved seating. So I'm gonna try to get there as early as I can so I can get a good seat because I'm not trying to be like, you know, super, super close to the, the screen or like, you know, all the way in the back. Like, I mean, I guess like all the way in the back is, you know, better than being like right in front of the screen. I'm very excited though. <laughs> If you guys watched the movie, definitely let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Um, I think the, the day that this video goes out will be like the release date. If not, it'll be like the day after the release date. So definitely let me know what you guys think of the movie if you guys decide to go see it. I'm super excited and uh, I think it's going to be a good one. So I've been hearing like a lot of great things about it, like people crying, people cheering. So <laughs> I'm like ready anyways. OK, so yeah, back to this hair tutorial. I decided to do a middle part and um, some cute little braids. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I just wanted to keep it really simple since it's just a movie night, you know, nothing too crazy. I also so uh, what else did I do? I did my edges. Yeah, I did want to make sure to style my edges. Um, so I did like a couple little swoop swoops in the front and um, the braids that I did, I pretty much like pulled a few, like two pieces in the front and braided those to be like my bangs. And then um, I also did like another braid, like just kind of like down the sides of like my face. Um, I also definitely wanted to make sure that the rest of the hair was super, super sleek and straight. So I just made sure to straighten the hair with my flat iron. We already know how to flatten and iron our hair. So I didn't spend too much time like showing you guys like footage of that. I really just wanted to show you guys like how I got like the braids and stuff. And I also made sure to give the, the wig a little bit of a trim at the ends. So, you know, it flows all pretty and nice. And yeah, that's it. That's the look. <laughs> um, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be putting all of the information for this hair down below the description box. So if you guys have any questions, check there. Thank you so, so, so much to Ashi Mary Hair Company for sponsoring today's video. I'm so obsessed with this wig. It's definitely going to be going in my stash of like wigs to wear for like everyday purposes because it's just like a classic like straight wig that's like perfect for you know just casual everyday wear so definitely going to be wearing this one again anyways yeah that's it for the hair let's go ahead and get into this makeup look okay so the makeup is super simple like i really just wanted to focus on skin so we're definitely going to make sure to prep the skin moisturize and all that good stuff so i'm using this water gel moisturizer from peach and lily i'm going to press that into the skin to make sure that skin is nice and hydrated and moisturized and then I'll go in with my primer. So the primer that I'm using is actually a new one from Iconic London that I just recently received. This is like a blurring primer, but it also has a little bit of a glow to it, which I thought was pretty fascinating. Like having that glow and smoothing element is like not something that you see quite often like when it comes to primer so I was really excited to use this and I actually really enjoyed it. Then I'm going to go in with a second primer. This is LH Cosmetics Mattifying Primer. I'm only going to focus this though on the like areas that I get super oily. So the forehead, the nose, on the like lower portion of the cheek. Those are like my oily areas so I'm just going to place that on those specific spots and then i'll go in with a little bit of extra glow this is another product from lh cosmetics it's just like a nice cute like highlighter like you know cream liquid highlighter type of vibe i'm gonna place that on the high points of the face and from there i'll go in with my foundation so the foundation like combo that i'm using today i'm using a mixture of two different products this is the elf halo glow foundation in shade number six this shade is a little bit too dark for me i'm like waiting like everybody else in the entire universe for like my shade to be restocked so I can go in and, and get it. This stuff is amazing and it's like forever sold out. I really want to buy it like on the e.l.f. website but I might just have to buy it on the Target website because like honey it's just always it's always sold out <laughs> like it's forever sold out. They like restocked it at one point and then I totally missed the restock and then it was just gone again. I was like oh my gosh. Ugh. Anyways yeah the shade that I have is a little bit too dark so I mixed it with the iconic London skin tint which is another product that 
that just recently launched for them and um that one's a little bit lighter than my complexion so the two together look perfect together um i then went with my concealer so concealer is from rem beauty this one is a super super full coverage concealer i love it though it's Mm, it's so nice. Right now I'm like super into like a light to medium coverage for foundations, but for concealer, like your girl is definitely sticking with like full coverage. That's just my vibe. So I've been really loving this one from Rem Beauty. But yeah, we're just gonna blend that in and then I'll go in with my cream products for my blush. Who is this from? Is this ColourPop? I think this is ColourPop. Yes, yeah, she is. This is the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush. She's a cute little like mauve like berry type of color. I love like layering liquid and powder blushes. It just makes the blush last a whole lot longer. From there, I'll go ahead and start setting everything with powder just to make sure to do that like first initial set. I like to bake like the under eyes and like the sides of the nose and everything like that. So making sure that the under eyes and like all of like those areas that I'm going to bake are like set with powder already is like super essential to get like that really smooth look to the under eyes when I finish baking. I'm then gonna go in with a powder foundation, just a little small bit from Huda Beauty's Glowish line. This is their pressed powder in shade number eight. And I'm gonna place that all over the face, like pretty much all the areas that I just have like my foundation and that's it. Then I'll go ahead and add my bronzer. I'm using one from Melt Cosmetics. This is their ultra matte bronzer in shade Malibu. I'm gonna place that on the, on the forehead, the cheeks, definitely making sure to add a little bit onto the nose because I like to do a reverse contour when I go ahead and bake, just making sure to keep the skin nice and warm. Then I'll go ahead and do like my bake. I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in shade Blondie. I'm gonna take that all the way to the sides of the nose and bake the bridge of the nose as well. And then for my powder blush, I'm using one from Huda Beauty's Glowish line as well. This is in the shade Very Berry, I think it's called. It's like a really cute like berry tone type of color though. I thought it would look really, really pretty on top of like this berry toned liquid blush that we applied earlier from ColourPop. So I'm just gonna very gently place that on the cheeks. I'm not doing a whole lot of this because this blush is very, very pigmented. Like it's, it's very pigmented. Just a little bit of this goes a really long way. From there, I'll go ahead and do my brows. I'm using the KVD Beauty Brow Pomade in shade Walnut. It's a little bit darker than, you know, what I typically use from KVD Beauty. I used to use like their dark brown pomade, but my dark brown one, it's all dried up and everything. Like I can't, I can't use it anymore. It's done. <laughs> so I'm switching over to this shade since she's like fresh and new. To kind of like tone down the darkness of the, the brow pomade, I definitely made sure to use like a lighter brow gel to set the brow hairs to kind of like balance balance that out. Then I'm gonna go in with my brush and just kind of dust away all of the bake from the nose and the under eyes, just gently tapping that away to um, so I don't disturb like any of the makeup underneath. I'm gonna add my little highlight for the nose. I don't do too much highlighting anymore, but I still like a cute little like nose highlight. I feel like it's still very, very cute. So I like to, you know, to just do a little bit on the bridge and the tip of the nose. And um, for the eyes, I kept it really simple, just like a cute little um, beige liner from Melt Cosmetics. This is their waterline eyeliner, and I think it's in shade Apricot Cream and um, a little bit of mascara from Milk Makeup. This is their Kush Mascara. It's a really good like volumizing one. On days where I'm just like doing something like, you know, super basic for makeup, I love going in with this mascara because it just makes my little eyelashes seem like I got something when I really, when I really don't. Um, so it, it's really good. <laughs> I went ahead off camera and just added my lash adhesive to like my lashes just to, you know, get them to dry down a little bit. Um, I like to do that right before I do like my lip combo just so it has like time to kind of dry like the lash glue. I'm gonna be lighting first using the Rare Beauty Lip Liner. The formula is perfection. It just glides onto the lips so, so well. Once I'm done lining, I'll go ahead and pop on my lashes there just to kind of, you know, get those on. So I'm gonna pop those babies on and then I'll go ahead and add my lip color. I'm gonna use a combo of two different products. I use the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and um, it's like a really beautiful like terracotta 
terracotta orange shade. I kind of wanted to do like a warmer tones, like orangey type of color for the lips. So I was like, oh, why not just use, you know, a little bit of this liquid blush. And it turned out like super perfect. Like it was exact look that I was going for. And then just to kind of like brighten the center of the lips, I used Rare Beauty's lipstick in shade Creative. It's like a really cute peachy type of color and just popped that on to the center of the lips. And that'll be it for the look. I just finished it up with a little bit of setting spray. This one's from Milk Makeup. It's the, their Hydro Grip setting spray. And um, yeah, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Definitely let me know your thoughts on how you liked Black Adam, if you went to go see the movie, and on Wakanda Forever. I'm super excited to see it tomorrow. <laughs> Woo woo. Thank you so, so much for watching. Sending lots of love to you guys and hopefully I will see you in the next one.